Yo, what's good? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And look, look, look. Hey, I gotta keep it a stack. When I usually start my videos, I got some crazy trailers, some crazy edits in the back. But this is a very important and serious topic in the One Piece TCG streets at the moment. The weekly rank stats for the OPO8 meta on the sim is now out. If you guys didn't already see, you see Zoro. The Zoro comeback is more than real. This is a lie. Okay, I'm not saying Zoro's bad. But let's just keep it a stack. It is not the best deck in the format. It's not BDIF. Okay, this is the weekly power rankings. Now you guys are probably wondering, how did Zoro get so high? Zoro's ranking is so high because these stats are not from the top 100s. This is just stats from anybody that just clicks the damn button on the sim, okay, and plays the deck. So you know what this list really tells me? This doesn't tell me what is the best decks of the format they could put zoro here but let's be real zoro's not here especially with all these black decks blacks literally shit on zoro but this also tells me what are the hardest decks to use in this game so the hardest decks to use in this game is raju okay maybe nami i fucking hate nami but let's just talk about nami monkey d luffy and this is the reason what inspired me to make this video they put monkey d luffy at 10 10 so you mean to tell me st13 you know my main deck is on the brink of leaving the top 10 this is such a bad ranking like they need to have a rank based system on the sim to where it's like the top 100 players because now you're giving people the misconception thinking that zoro is really the best deck we all know zoro is not the best deck okay this just tells me Okay, this is the hardest deck in the game to use. Like I've been saying, this deck is the hardest deck to use. I don't know why, maybe this is a hard deck to use. I don't know, I don't really know nothing about Nami. People say it is kind of hard, you know, maybe it's not, I don't know. But I do know Raju is one of the hardest deck in the game to use, and so is Monkey D. Luffy. So the fact that Monkey D. Luffy is almost on the brink of leaving the top 10 tells me there must be a lot of bad players loading up this deck and in punting that's what it pretty much tells me they're literally just punting ain't no way in hell zoro is number one ain't no way if you guys want to look at more of the stats here is the stats right here of all of the decks let's see here we go right here so here's all the deck stats and the matchups they can see what's favorable but zoro's not number one okay to be honest with you if you guys play black and yellow luffy right you should be fucking everybody's bitch on this list except for bonnie but bonnie's leaving popularity right now like bonnie's not really that popular at the moment this list is wrong um this is not a proper list i feel like in order for us to get a proper list we need the top 100 players decks and statistics okay having uh statistics on anybody that just plays it's almost kind of reminds me of you guys ever played like a fps and there's ranked and casual that's like getting all your stats from casual base rank system and saying hey look this is the best guns in the game okay it, it doesn't work like that so with that being said let's just go over the real top 10 list okay there's not going to be really any edits like that because you know i have a lot of people now message me saying zoro's the best no 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 squash that shit squash that shit ain't no way zoro is the best and that's a fact not an opinion okay facts so that was a fucking lie so let's go ahead and get straight into it so we are back so now let's go over the real top 10 like i said earlier we we're going to go over our real top 10 list i actually copied every single one of those lists that that reddit thread had and i put it here so you guys could actually see it a little bit better but let's go over my version of a top 10 i feel like this includes all the most skillful decks and i just feel like this is the most proper list if you ask anybody with cereals or any type of tournament accomplishments okay i'm pretty sure they will agree with me compared to the one they just saw so let's go ahead and start off with the 10th best deck the 10th best deck in the format has to be calgara okay that that i mean look there's no this is the 10th best deck this is a budget deck glass cannon deck i mean you can rush the board and everything but calgara 
is the 10th best deck i mean on their rating system they have it at six there's no way at a sweaty ass tournament this deck is ranking at a sixth place okay sixth placement in front of all these other decks they have in front of by luffy as well there's no way in hell <laughs> calgara six this is the 10th best deck of the format fact not an opinion you can go ahead and argue with me below but let's just keep it a stack and that's the biggest thing y'all have to be honest i don't care if it's your favorite deck or not let's be honest calgara is the 10th best deck it's a glass cannon deck the whole gist of the deck if you guys don't know what this deck does is pretty much to cheat out this big cost body you know cheat out the bigger cost body like this one right here so this is a cool deck but it's not the sixth best deck okay i mean i know i'm coming out like i'm hating but i don't give a fuck if y'all think i'm hating then i'm fucking hating because i i refuse to believe calgary is ranked six when it comes to the best deck of the format so this is the 10th best deck in my opinion glass cannon deck the biggest hindrance to this deck is that um i just honestly just think it just needs support i think that's just really what it is i just think it just needs a little bit more support it doesn't have any blockers doesn't have any crazy things that a trigger doesn't have any way to put things back into life uh except for nolan and nolan's not searchable so you know this is the 10th best deck there's no way this is the sixth best deck let's go into the ninth best deck this is the ninth best deck you know in my top five decks i did have putting a little bit higher i had a lot of people telling me you know category is higher x y and z come to find out i guess the streets is right category is a lot better than pudding and that's why pudding is at number nine if you guys don't know what pudding does pretty much the whole gist of this deck it's spam out big cost monsters by your third turn but the thing about this deck is that a lot of people are learning how to play this deck a lot of people are learning how to play around the big bodies especially since black is so popular if you're playing black you can really just ko a lot of these cards just with jack and also this current deck list that you know reddit did provide i feel like it's wrong i feel like you don't need to run 10 aces i feel like if anything you should probably run two aces and they should probably run the 10 drop linlin -Lin. i'll show you guys here right now if this thing will load up okay so it should be this card right here probably two of these there's no reason to run really two of these especially since you do have the big mom but you know this is really just a boss 10 cost spam okay and uh you pretty much lose the zora you lose a whole bunch of aggro and especially if you're playing black a lot of these 10 costs don't even matter because every turn they can just keep on popping these turn after turn with ice ages and luchi so so in my opinion this is the ninth best deck of the format currently on the reddit list that we did see they have this at seven there's no way this is at seven this is probably at nine uh tell me below what you guys think but i feel like this is the ninth best deck of the format let's go to the eighth best deck the eighth best deck of the format has to be bonnie bonnie has been falling out of popularity and i actually don't even know why we actually just take a glance at this deck this deck is really good it got cavendish it got the 10 drop dofi it has the zoro as the hody jones it has the best blocker in the game it even has the carrot it has mad searchers it has the blocker i actually don't know why this deck isn't doing so well there's barely been any tops of bonnie and the fact that you get to have this broken eight cost uh nine cost zoro that can attack up to three times is actually insane and i honestly don't know why this deck is not doing that well i truly don't maybe it just is, maybe it's just a skillful deck to pilot that has to be the reason why i have no clue but i feel like bonnie should be higher but right now from where it sits it's falling out of popularity and I, i'm putting it at eight i'm putting it at eight I, I don't know why a lot of people's not playing bonnie at the moment this card right here alone is there should be a reason to play this but hey i ain't complaining i'm main black and yellow luffy so if you keep it a stack go ahead and hey look don't play this deck don't play this deck because if you don't play this deck okay i pretty much beat every other deck without me even blinking twice okay so you know i put this at eighth it is falling out of the meta for some reason and uh yeah let's just go ahead and continue to the seventh best deck so that seventh best deck has to be katakuri okay katakuri has actually seen an uprise of play i feel like at the time of speaking right now this is the best mono yellow deck in the game just being able to look at your life rearrange your life having a 7k beat stick with the leader and then on top of having kiku out of life with the big mom and this is the main reason why this 
deck is so strong is because of this card right here this card is probably one of the most broken if not the most broken yellow card in existence when it comes to boss monsters and they also are playing the two most broken yellow cards out of life where it comes to capone and also the you're the one to disappear i don't know how i feel about this list i feel like you should be running three cracker and maybe instead of the satori you probably run some hiori's i'll probably put three hiori's and probably three onami's because if you have the three hiori's in here you can literally put one two three four five six seven eight cards back in your life for some crazy ass triggers so that's the one thing i would really change in this deck but i feel like katakuri is on the uprise it is the third best deck at the moment it is the best mono yellow deck in the format fact not opinion the only thing i might change maybe be uh this thunderbolt uh, I don't know why this deck isn't really using Kingdom Come. I feel like if you're a yellow deck and you're not BY Luffy, you always run Kingdom Come. So maybe replace this, these two of Kingdom Come. But besides that, Katakuri is seventh best deck in the format. Fact, not an opinion. Now let's go straight into the sixth best deck. The sixth best deck is Raju. If we look at this list, they have Raju at eight. There's no way in hell Raju is at eight. I put this at six. Always want putting this a little higher than normal is because if you guys don't see this fucking stage or if you just start bricking this deck kind of auto lose but it's really about the stage you really have to see your stage if you do not see your stage you will just fucking lose the game i mean that's just if it almost feels like how luchi if they don't see stage you're at a huge hindrance only difference that only reason why luchi is so good is because the black cards just generically are so much better this is a very combo centric deck being able to spam out this etg and having a judge if you guys don't know what judge does read it on the screen right now this is pretty much a cracked version of gecko boria bringing back all your rangers from the graveyard so this card is very very strong very very broken and uh i just think it just takes a very very skillful pilot to be able to use this correctly and that's another reason why the win percentage is so low at 48 percent on the reddit you know sim post when it comes to rim rate because look there's not a lot of people that know how to play this deck properly this is a very skillful deck you need to be a cracked ass pilot and there's no way in hell this deck has, is supposed to be at like number eight this is a six ranked deck in my opinion let's go straight into the fifth best deck the fifth best deck of the format is uh nami no oh 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 shit ah, i just had a jump scare i just saw the nami deck oh shit i forgot we're doing the best decks in the format hold on oh, oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah fifth best deck is uh nami my bad i fell asleep had a little i legit had a jump scare right there because i just saw the nami on the screen oh, okay shit. fifth oh, best shit. deck is Nami. we're not gonna talk too much about it let's go ahead and get out of here just before i fall back asleep here the fourth best deck has to be Zoro. And I'm going to keep it real with you. This is the best red deck. This deck is not number one. This has to be the fourth best deck. As long as there's black meta decks in the format, this deck will never be number one, especially against a cracked black player, whether it would be Luchi, ST14 Luffy, or BY Luffy, okay? Zoro did get a huge buff in this set with all of the animal kingdom type of cards with this card you know this card right here this card right here and uh this from ebo one is cracked we also got some more support with this rally so like this deck is really solid but if we're talking about a you know a eight to ten round type of tournament i put this at the fourth best deck i mean as long as there's black in the meta especially how heavy it is right now this will never be the best deck in the format this is the fourth best deck in the format now when dofi comes around i'm not sure how well this deck gets because dofi literally just shits on everything so i'm not really sure how the matchup between red zoro and blue dofi goes around after you know pull structure deck but for right now this is not the best deck in the format i would have to put this at the fourth best deck and that's just look that's a fact not opinion it's good but you know some people are saying it's undiscovered but it's not better than any of look if you play against a crack black player it's almost impossible to win this matchup fact not an opinion so let's go ahead and go straight into the third best deck of the format third best deck of the format is luchi luchi is doing luchi things luchi is always going to be good just because by its base is very good just being able to abuse the brook the kuzan uh and also this kaku for the board removal is actually crazy and if you are also running the four rob luchis with the rebecca with the sabo with the eye chase with the fucking tempest kick and the jack and the who's who 
bro i'm telling you right now this is a solid deck but i feel like you just need to be a skillful pilot to play this not everybody can pick this up and play this properly it does have a 55 percent win rate but you know there's levels to this shit i mean you could definitely tell a crack lucci player compared to somebody that's just playing it correctly okay rob lucci very very good deck i feel like this is the third best black not even just black but third best deck in the format fact not opinion let's go into the second best deck in the format it's my bad y'all i fucking turned off my computer on accident so the second best deck in the format has to be st14 this has seen an uprise in play and to be honest with you it's deserved this is the only other deck besides lucy to where the sim actually got the rankings correct i do feel like this is the second best deck in the format hands down it's playing all the generic black cards but the main difference between this and the lucy deck is that this beats Lucci just because it has so much cost manipulation in this deck. Okay, so that's the only reason why I feel like this is probably the second best deck because it beats Lucci. If it beats Lucci, it's probably the second best deck. Okay, hands hands down. I mean, I, when I'm looking at the list, we have Katakuri, Bonnie, Calgara, Pudding, Raju, Nami, and Zoro. I feel like the only other deck this by luffy and not by luffy but this deck this black luffy the only other deck that this black luffy really loses to is by luffy to be honest with you and if you guys did not know what the number one deck is that's what it is but nonetheless uh this deck counters every single other black deck mainly luchi when we talk about black decks luchi or perona it's been seen an uprise very very strong based ass deck i like it i just like the fact there's a different black deck that you could play because smoker's not here yet so if this is something that you are interested in this is the deck list go ahead and copy it but the number one deck in the format which really inspired me to make this fucking video is the fact that they put by luffy at 10 how in the fuck is by luffy at 10 so you mean to tell me it's on the brink of becoming a top 20 deck you must be out your fucking goddamn mind there's no fucking way and that's why i said like on the same when it comes to ranking base for the decks you need to have like the top 100 because there's no way in hell black and yellow luffy is at number 10 black and yellow luffy is the best deck in the format but if you actually take a look at the percentage okay it has the lowest percentage of win rate in the game when it comes to these top 10 decks that tells me that this is the hardest deck to play and the reason why the percentage is so long is because you got so many motherfuckers out here that don't know what the hell they're doing okay so this is the best deck in the format hardest deck in the format should you pick it up i don't know because doofy kind of shits on this deck a little bit if you really don't know what the hell you're doing but nonetheless let's talk about all the three different builds a lot of people are suggesting this build this is the build that's on the reddit form right now and i'm getting sick and tired of everybody posting this championship winning yeah jackson won the championship but that see this is the thing you guys don't know and this and this is how i know if you're competitive or not you cannot take a national type of list and use it in a new set when this list was specifically tailored for nats so you can't really use this particular list in the current format because this list was not tailored for the OPO8 format. This list that you guys are seeing on right now on screen, this BY Luffy list is specifically tailored for nationals. You should not be running this list in the OPO8 meta, okay? With that being said, there's been a lot of chatter on the streets about what is the new version of by luffy okay what is the new version of by luffy this is the new version of by luffy since st14 luffy is really pretty much running havoc and so is luchi and those are the second and third best decks by luffy is now opting to drop all the qzans and run the four borsalinos okay that's what's the new trend right now is the four borsalinos drop the pistols uh drop uh what else did i run i think it was just the pistols yeah just drop the pistols just have the two ices just so you have a way to get rid of anything from a nine drop or lower lower down on the luffy's right here and uh, to three and also put this at three and honestly i would even do all this if it was my opinion if i had to change something because if you guys see this list this is the pop list everybody's going for if i had to change something i'll get rid of this uh and do i really need four borsalino i'll probably get rid of this and then i'll put in two makanos or makinos okay because the only reason why i'm putting it two makinos is because i do like having the two k's in my deck at least like having 10 
2Ks in my deck. So this is probably the list that what you probably should be running, okay? A lot of people were running that initial list I just showed you, but just to be honest with you, I feel like this is the proper list everybody's going to be transitioning towards since Bonnie is coming out of the meta. A lot of people's not playing Bonnie and Lucci and ST14 Luffy is just so rampant and Borsalino pretty much just takes Kuz on spot because it can't be popped. It's a 6K blocker and it's a four Don play. So this is the popular list the streets is talking about right now. Replace the Kuzans with the Borsalinos and still having the two ice ages just so you could always have a way to you know get rid of some things on the board up to a rank nine and lower so this is the popular list that's going around in the street for the by luffy list this is not my personal list my personal list i'll show you my updated personal list so this is my personal list i'm still running the kuzans i'm still running the pistols because i like the pistols late game to get rid of a blocker pretty much go for game and i always want to run four rocket luffy's because i mean just imagine this being a Luchi, okay? You imagine this being a Kaiku, okay? You if, if it's anything with board removal, I want to see it as much as possible. Yeah, you could just run three searchers, but if you have too much searchers, you start bottom decking like your geckos and your counters. So this is my current list right now. I feel like the list that I do have in my deck profiles is also still really, really well, but you know just something that you guys can think about you guys can really use any list that you want but if you guys want to know what list is really popular on the streets right now a lot of sweats a lot of people with cereals is talking about is this list right here with the borsalinos because the black decks are so dominant right now this is the number one deck in the format this is the hardest deck in the format this is the reason why i have the lowest win percentage and yeah y'all uh i feel like when it comes to this online sim we need to have the top ranking 100 players you know statistics not anybody that just presses the damn button and hey that here here are the best decks because at this point black and yellow is not even going to be in the top 10 decks which is crazy because this deck doesn't lose to anything except for bonnie and even with bonnie if i see my kuzones are ice stages it's still almost free uh, if you're a skilled pilot like i don't struggle against damn near almost nothing when i play this so these are the top decks um and yeah y'all tell me what you guys below if you guys agree with my list or not but i'm gonna tell you right now zoro should not be number one katakuri is damn sure not number five bonnie's not number five uh calgara is not number six i mean bro it's just that list is just so fucking gone i feel like this has to be the most proper list has to has to has to but yeah y'all that's all i got but look before i go tell me below how you guys will rank the top 10 decks and yeah man that's all i got but look before i go if you was feeling the vibes make sure you like comment and subscribe it all gone